Well, we're in like this really bumpy road. Where are we going? I found this website called Roadside Attractions. It's, it has like a bunch of like, a lot of like tourist trap type stuff on it, but also like some pretty neat things. And this guy out in Holbrook, Arizona has built, I guess, some UFOs or something in his yard. And has Real like, UFOs? I don't, I don't think they work, no. <laughs> um, and has put up like oh aliens, <laughs> extension of aliens. So nobody's getting sick watching this. We're gonna go find him. This is like really ominous weather too. It's fantastic. Are we on the other side of the road where we were before? Because there's fencing. I don't know if you can see it. But there's like fencing that's been blocking off like all these different routes we've been trying to take. We took the original route and there was fencing across the underpasses, including the underpass that was supposed to take us straight up to this place. And so then we like rerouted, we got back to the highway and we got off on a different exit. We're like basically creating our own route. And we were supposed to go just straight in like an L. And there was another gate, well a gate at a fence, blocking us off from that route. So we're like just wandering around. <laughs> Here's the highway. But we're like wandering around in this like, very, very deserted mini, what did you call this? A town, I don't know if this is a town. It's like it's open outskirts land. of Holbrook. Yeah, outskirts of Holbrook. Seeing if this new route we're taking is gonna miraculously take us this thing. And this thing better be amazing, right? Yes. It's I been- hope, <laughs> UFOs and aliens. Everywhere. I hope he's like not trying to keep us away from it. What, uh, all gates and fences. You have got to be kidding me. This might be the end of the road. This might be the end of the road. We might be giving up here. That <laughs> what you just saw is what we've been finding. Like we get, we find a new, find a new route. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. We find a new route. <laughs> and then there's a gate or a fence. So there are basically two other possible ways to get there. And if they're both fenced off, and this is gonna be a really lame video. Sorry. All right. Here we go again. All right. This is possibly our last chance. We are on Pronto. Ooh, and here we got a couple of those. What are those things called again? Oh my what? gosh, they're everywhere. The tumbleweeds. Oh, tumbleweeds. Yeah. There are tumbleweeds everywhere here. We actually were just in the Painted Desert, and there was a flurry of them in the middle of the road, and Brian. We realized and quickly like threw his windows up last minute otherwise we could have had tumbleweeds flying through the car as it was they like flung at the car so this is our second to last shot this is supposed to be a through street that gets to the street eventually that we wanted to go to if this is blocked off there's a street above us that we might be able to try to get around to get back to this street again it's not even a street it's a dirt road but those are our last shots and I'm really hoping we get to an end point because otherwise this can be a really lame video. Okay, so far so good. There's a tumbleweed. <laughs> oh yeah, can you see it? Oh, are we going to read her over it? So we keep going. Okay. I think we might actually... Oh, watch, it's coming back at us. <laughs> we might actually make it. <laughs> We just have to make sure we're able to find our way back. Going back. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, nobody's gonna want to watch this. Like right. Darn you, a fool. Brian was just saying we should be able to see something soon, but I think it's a while to the left yet. Yeah, I think still a while. We're still on this road, and now there are cows. Hi, cows. Are we supposed to be turning here? Or is this yes. Okay. Yeah, oh, he's like staring at me a little. He's like, that's so cool. that's a very angry looking cow. All right, I think this is the last, this is the stretch, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep building, building. <laughs> so far, so good. Seriously, those were like some massive, scary looking cows. I'm glad they didn't like decide to like ram it. Oh, more tumbleweeds. Okay. 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 <laughs> they're, they're 
tumbling away. Okay, here's Sherry Road. Yeah. It's kind of a nice looking road now. It looks like there may kind of be something in the distance. Maybe a lot of things are small. Oh, I think I see a flagpole. You can? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's kind of pretty out here. <laughs> this land is is gonna buy up all of the alien paraphilia if he wants to sell mm -hmm. and this is a for sale sign for sale so there you go if we end up finding something amazing i'm not living out here though <laughs> i'll come visit you <laughs> i'm gonna stick to the rv and turn like, us into an airbnb RV, <laughs> no one's gonna want to come out here <laughs> we aliens. have to pave the roads first there's aliens they will Make sure you have the right vehicle if you're gonna ride on roads like this. Or in our trucks. High clearance vehicles. Did we we didn't film it all on the um at Big Bend when we were on those roads, did we? I don't think so. It was it was it was worse than this. Hello, we're going 25 miles an hour. It was like three, five miles an hour at certain points. Just because if Brian didn't take his time, he would have seriously banged up the bottom of the truck. We've had some adventures. This is my first time, like, first year, I should say, in a major vehicle that can handle this stuff. That might not be it. So we got a little bit ways to go, so. Okay, so that's just a barn. This is like a real adventure. I'm just really hoping that we're not disappointed at the end. It's a pretty day. Wait, is this supposed to, is that supposed to be it though, right? No. Okay. I think they just really do not want people out here. What does the road lead to? Where are we going? Keep it rolling. Oh, McGurr, McGurr. It says we passed it. We passed it? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, there's some structures up there. All right, we will drive to the structures. And if it's not those structures, it says that's a road. It's like it's nothing. <laughs> GPS has really not been helping us out. Well, there's I, a street sign that said like Macy Road, and it's like that's not a road. Oh, all right. We're gonna see think, if this. I think I see a flag. All right, we're gonna see if this structure is it. How long have we devoted to this already? An hour? Oh yeah. At least. Like really, we can't give up now. I see a flag up there. It said flat, some other flag pole. So. Oh, it did in the directions? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm feeling hopeful then. I'm feeling hopeful, guys. Maybe GPS just had the wrong location. <laughs> yeah, it said on the site, I think, like, to call ahead on some of these places. I don't think you call ahead on this one. Because that would have been really helpful. Like, how do we get there? And is it okay that we're coming by? This is it. This is it. Okay. Good. I better be. There is a flagpole. I see it now myself. I still don't see anything else except a flagpole and maybe some fencing. And an RV. And an RV. Oh, I see little spaceships. Oh, is it just a couple? I see a couple little spaceships and solar panels, man. Is there anybody home? I don't know. I thought there was going to be a bunch of stuff. Oh, somebody sees us and wave. <laughs> Oh, there is a little alien guy! <laughs> cool, I'm we, glad they waved. We they're... found him. <laughs> we made it, we found it. His name is Bert. Bert? Bert. Bert? Who knows why? <laughs> okay, so totally worth it. <laughs> that was really cool. We met uh, the guy who uh, put this together, um, Bruce Cunningham, and we thought there'd be more, but we found out it's because uh, he had an accident and um, some of his stuff was actually stolen while he was recovering. So, which it probably explains all of those fences and gates, yep. <laughs> trying to keep a lot of people out, uh, which is such a shame, but really cool guy. He chit chat with us quite a bit. Uh, and we took some pictures um, and he said he's gonna be adding more stuff. 
he said he has stuff in storage that he's gonna pull out. He said some of the best stuff he still has to share with people. And he likes having people come by and stop, which I'm glad. He was like, I hope this is okay. We're just coming by. He had a little RV and also a bus that he says he's going to be remodeling into something cool. Yeah. And yeah. turn into something like like an attraction for people to, to go into. Yeah, he said he actually might have some camping on his property. And I told him we're going to probably be back. Uh, so I'm going to find him on Facebook because I want to definitely want to see what everything is out there and also if we could camp here for a night that would be awesome yeah I don't think we're gonna want to try to grab our RV and pull it out here <laughs> because of these roads but um I don't know unless you think you can handle that kind of drive I don't want to drive out here well, with the a lot RV. of things will be jumbling around and falling all around yeah so probably be like we've talked about doing some tenting and camping yeah. uh, in the near future so then we could probably stay here What was the thing that he said he was going to build? Is that part of the bus or is that something different? Uh, what was a 60 foot replica of... Really bumpy road again. A, a rocket. I think so, yeah, like a really big model yeah. rocket. He said that was something he wanted to do as part of his retirement. Saturn, Saturn rocket? Is that what he said? I can't remember. Maybe. So, totally worth wandering around <laughs> trying to find this place for an hour or more. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'm really glad this video had a payoff. <laughs> and we'll see you again soon. Yep. Take care, everybody. Bye now.